Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to show you this New Year's Eve appropriate look. This is on the bold side, but more on the subtle bold side. You could easily switch out the lip for something more nude. But I thought the eye look is what was especially unique because you could switch it up with a different bright color that you have, and it'd be a subtle way to add a little va va voom to like a New Year's Eve look rather than doing lots of glitter if you just don't like the look of glitter. So if you would like to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. So first things first, I'm going to use Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Have a really light hand with this because you don't want it to get too cakey. And I'm also going to bring this slightly along the bottom lash line, again, being very careful. And then I'm going to set my eyes with a big fluffy brush and just the powder that I used on my face. I'm actually going to start off on my bottom lash line because that's where I want a lot of the drama to be. And I'm going to use actually a brow brush. It's a little bit thicker than just the typical eyeliner brush, but I think it's gonna do me good. So I'm just using that with a glycerin-based spray. You can also use eye drops. And then I'm going to dip into this shadow right here. It is called Neptune by Makeup Geek. And it's coming off a lot more subtle than it is in person. It's a lot more vivid in person, and hopefully it'll come across on the eye. Tap off any of the excess. It looks like fairy dust when you tap it off. Also a plus. And I'm going to go underneath my lashes and then drag it up again to decrease the likelihood of fallout. Then I'm going to go in with a very thin kind of pencil brush. It's more tapered though. Uh, and it is by Sonia Kashuk and it is the number 31 brush. And I'm going to start blending that. And I'm just working that up kind of in a flip motion. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Then I'm going to go in very lightly with birthday suit. It may appear kind of like as a khaki to you, but it is much darker when it actually is applied to the skin, especially since I'm so fair. This is by Morphe, by the way, though I just recommend trying something else other than Morphe. Didn't have the best experience with them. Customer service and shipping was just not pleasant. But just go in with anything that is a little bit darker than your skin tone, very lightly, but focus that into the crease. It's slightly above the crease in my case because I have hooded eyes. And I'm using a duo fiber brush by Real Techniques to do this. And kind of flick out the edges. We're going to go for this extended cat eye like thing. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of this NYX shadow that I depotted and it is called Over the Taupe. It is just kind of like a brown based, slightly hued purple color. Now we're going to go back in with that blue and kind of do a little bit more flicking upward now that we have more of a direction that the flip is gonna go. I did not dampen my brush this time though. I'm just softening it by gently flipping over this. Why do I keep saying flipping? I need to say flip and I don't know why. Now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Icon number two in Iconic. Did I say that? I don't know. And I'm just going to go in with this shade right here. It is kind of a slightly pink toned white shimmer. I'm going to use my finger because sometimes that's your best tool when it comes to shimmers. I actually want it to be a little bit more intense than that, so I'm going to go in with the highlighter by MAC called Light Scapade, and I'm just going to go over that. I did want to avoid going in with like a harsh black liner on the top, but I feel like my lash line needs a little bit of deepening, so I'm going to go in with a typical Ingalls liner brush with a little bit of Corrupt by Makeup Geek, which is just a black, and I'm not even going to dampen my brush, I'm just going to push this super, super close along the lash line at the top. So now I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm going to go back and forth between two. The first one being the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I just will go between the two, but you'll obviously see the change. One's purple, one's bright ass green. Highlight, I'm actually not going to go in with the Tarte one. I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Organic Swear because this has a plastic bristle brush, which is going to help me comb out the clumpiness that's going on. And I'm going to bring that along my lower lash line. I cannot use the cover girl one on my lower lash line that easily because the wand has a bit of a learning curve to go with it. It's just the weirdest shape. 
Before I forget, I'm going to line my upper waterline with the NYX Trey Jolie Eyeliner, which is like a gel liner in a stick. So now I'm going to give you two different lip options. It's a little bit gray, but it's more on the pink side, and this is actually from the drugstore. Both are, I feel like, affordable prices. They're around the same price range. And this is in Never Ending Nutmeg, and it is the LA... Baby, come here. I think like a straight gray would look so pretty with this. <gasps> oh, you know what I want to use? This is the NYX Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone Fox. Ooh. Nope, this is what I want to do. That is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any other color-based looks that you would like to see me do, like maybe how to pull off a bright-ass purple lip, I'd be happy to do that. So leave any requests for videos like that, or maybe tag videos, anything you would like to see, I will be happy to do. And I will see you guys later next time. Bye. So first things first, I'm going to use MAC Soft Over Soft Fofofer. But I thought I would give a separate option. Go away. Go away. And I'm going to lean my head forward so as if there's any fallout, it won't hit my cheeks. I'm going to good job, Hannah. Good job. I hold kitty. I hold kitty. I know. Say hi. Say hi. This is Olive. She's one of my five cats. <laughs> I'm that cat lady. One of them's like a wild cat, which is their mama cat. What spaghetti is under our car? <laughs> <laughs> what do you drink here? Have you ever had a? I'm probably gonna get a mimosa here. We're at Cats now because we're hungry and food's cheap here and it's still open. <laughs>